Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Soulful Abundance. I am so super excited to chat with my dear friend, Genevieve. She is such a powerhouse helping to support women in creating whatever their purpose is, following their passion, building wealth, financial abundance. And I'm so super excited to have her share her zone of genius with you today. So welcome, Genevieve. Thank you so much, Chris. I'm excited to be here. It's it's been way too long since we've connected. So I, I love know. This. I know <laughs> Genevieve is, oh my gosh, she started with me years ago. She's a past client and now she's just like doing so good. She's an author now. So we're going to talk a little bit about her yeah. book. We're going to talk about some of the work that she does in the world to support and empower other women to create financial independence and wealth in their life, which is so, so important. And um, Genevieve, I want to really just kind of start with kind of what we were talking about just a few minutes ago, which is, you know, we spend as women so much time helping others, right? And yet there's some specific pieces that we are not actually taking advantage of because we probably weren't, don't know, or we're not taught. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is where you come in, where you can really kind of help support women, Mm-hmm. to to say hey have you looked at your finances this way or have you looked at how you could take what it is that you really love to do and monetize that can yeah, can you share sure. a little bit about that sure sure um chris thank you for that so what i look to do i think of and i guess i it goes back to the women i saw as i was growing up and even myself mm-hmm. we as women we're programmed to almost we're nurturers and, and, and the programming comes in the things that we should be doing. So, mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're nurturers. We, we know we're supposed to get our education. We're supposed to work our eight to five jobs. Then we're supposed to take care of our families and we're supposed to do all these things. And oftentimes as we do all these things and we do those, you know, wonderfully, we put ourselves on the back burner. We mm-hmm. put ourselves last because in our minds, we're kind of programmed. That's where that programming comes in. We're programmed to just take care of everyone else. Yeah. But then there's something in the back of our mind that someone will will take care of us. Someone will will look out for us. Mm-hmm. But what happens is oftentimes we give and give and give. Also, we don't get that back. Mm-hmm. So we live a life that's unfulfilled. We we don't feel valued. We don't feel like there's anything for us. We're constantly tired. We have medical issues. It, it can run the gamut. Yeah. And what how I like I want to approach this, and it became my vision is. How do I help support women? Some of the things that I experienced, some of the things I saw, as I mentioned earlier, how do I support women? And one of the ways or many ways, and I'll start with just looking at what is it that you're put here to do? What is your purpose? Mm -hmm. You know, we all have a purpose. We all, it comes within us, but oftentimes we tamper it down. So we don't know what it is we're here and we all have this gift. What is it there is for us to share in the world? Mm -hmm. And so it's about helping women explore that, Mm -hmm. finding out what makes them, what are they passionate about? Mm -hmm. Because once you have a purpose, what are you passionate about? And how do you get there? So that may look like, and so my roadmap may look like, you know, we'll look at your financial story. You can't move from one place to another until you look at your finances. What are you spending every month? Mm-hmm. What are your goals? Are you saving for retirement? Are you protected? If something's mm-hmm. happening to you today, what happens to you, your family? Right. And then we also look at, I'll look at mindset. You know, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? How you think? Mm-hmm. Is there their opportunities? And usually there are. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what is it you're passionate about? We're going back to that passion. Is it about business ownership? Is it about something else, another industry? Mm-hmm. And what I love is that I have conduits that I can support you mm-hmm. in whatever way you do, but it's a holistic approach mm-hmm. in terms of how do we go forward? I love that. Yeah. Because I think so often we do compartmentalize things, right? We're like, this is business and this is my life and this is my finances and this is my passion. Mm -hmm. And really we need to take a look at the whole thing, right? That's right. right. Because we're, we're body, mind, spirit, right? right. And energy is energy. It just kind of interweaves. There is no difference between, Mm -hmm. you know, the energy that we're putting here and then the energy that we're putting here, like it flows together. It's, That's right. You know, and we to- use that same energy. So how we approach our money is how we approach our career. It's how we yes. approach our family. Yes. It's how we approach how we take care of ourselves. Because yes, yes. It, it's all connected. And I know we've had many conversations yes. about that um, yes. as well as sharing, but yeah, yeah. how yeah. we do literally everything. So 
when you start to impact one area, you'll start to see changes on other areas of your life because you're, you're, you're like looking at things differently. You're Mm -hmm. approaching it differently. Oh my gosh. That's so powerful. Yes. That's, you know, one of the things I know that you and I learned when we Mm -hmm. were learning our profession of coaching is the way that we do one thing is the way that we do everything. So the way that we're showing up in one area of our life, we can probably be pretty clear that we're showing up in other areas of our life that way. So just, it's kind of like that, that necklace or that pearl Mm -hmm. necklace that we were picking Mm -hmm. up one pearl and the rest of them follow. I love that. So you get to support women starting wherever mm-hmm. it is that they want to start and know okay. that by start at that starting point, that, that the rest of the pearls are going to follow and things are going to okay. start moving and shifting the way that they want to move and shift. That's right. That's right. And, you know, and as I've worked with women, as you know, Chris, mm-hmm. oftentimes we'll start out with what they want to accomplish, but when you get in there, other things come up and yeah. it may be things that have happened in their childhood, things that have happened um, currently in their life things that are happening at their current job. And it's what is beautiful about the process is you get to support your client or, you know, and, and in this way, I get to support them in mm-hmm. either way, however it's going. And, and they see changes, yeah. you know, yeah. in every, almost everything and, th- and places you don't expect. I know yeah. I've experienced that, which is yeah. quite yeah. powerful. Yeah. I love that you dive into mindset because that's mm-hmm. so important, right? It's not just about the right strategy to create that's the money. Right. It's about the mindset that we have in place, mm-hmm. our intentional way of being, mm-hmm. what it is that we're thinking that's creating mm-hmm. our thoughts that's, that's or that's creating our feelings, it's creating our actions mm-hmm. and creating the results. And that's when we learn right. how to be really clear about how are we really looking at the world? Who is it that we're being in the world? What actions are we taking mm-hmm. from that s- space? Mm-hmm. Or are we just, you know, hustling, trying to do the thing, trying to make the thing, trying to get Oh my the gosh, thing? it's right. so true. And, and so it, it brings up to my, oh gosh, so many things. But mm-hmm. absolutely, we, if, if say for instance, we and the women that as what want to leave corporate America or want to leave their mm-hmm. professional job and want to leave the eight to five job, You can't think the same way while you were in that job and as you move to go into the next place, because there's a reason we were there and we were unhappy. It becomes this, this almost this evolution, this transformation Mm -hmm. and thinking, and I'm not saying it happens all at once, but it begins with how are we feeling? How do we Mm -hmm. process our emotions? What are the thoughts we think? Yeah. what are the thoughts we think about ourselves? Mm -hmm. And I know for me, as we were working, and um, I remember being in your programs, for me, one of the hardest, I should say the hardest things, one of my things that I had to kind of think about differently was that if I work hard, I'm going to get these results. And I Mm -hmm. had to always work hard. So I had to drive and muscle my way through. And what happens when you muscle, you come from this, masculine energy so what happens you you constantly must and it doesn't necessarily mean that you get what you want from the results you get a result but is that the result that is the best result for you right so right it's learning ourselves and learning how to begin to think of things in a different way mm-hmm. in a more intentional inspired way and for me one of the biggest challenges was kind of tapping into that those emotions Mm-hmm. you know, how I was thinking, how I was feeling and the processing of emotions. And that's what I, I learned in that period when we were all working together. It's how do I look at my emotions differently, mm-hmm. knowing that they were all connected to my thoughts, mm-hmm. but it didn't have to be that I was muscling it because I that right. was definitely a muscler. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because thoughts are just thoughts, right? It doesn't necessarily okay. mean that they're facts. That's right. Just a thought. And chances are, as you know, because you worked with one of my good friends. Yes. Oh my gosh. Mindset, right? So much. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are many of our thoughts are just belief systems that we've taken on That's from right. other people that have put on repeat. So we might be having a thought that comes from a very old pre-programmed belief system mm-hmm. that just isn't true, but it's giving us a feeling of fear or doubt or like, nope, I have to hustle because money doesn't grow on trees or I have to work really hard because if I don't work hard, then I'm not going to be compensated. Right. And so those are just really old, outdated programs that don't serve us anymore. When we take a look at those and be like, oh, is that really true? That's right. <laughs> is it really? That's right. <laughs> is it really? Do I really have to be that way? And, and I know for me, I thought 
because I came from corporate America, that was mm-hmm. the way I needed to be in that space. But then now I think about it, is that the way I really needed to be? Or is that the way I chose to be? Right. And it doesn't necessarily mean that's right. It's yeah. just, it is. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Get to, you get to impact that. And yeah. I get to yeah. impact that. Yeah. I like to think of it as, um, you know, the train of thought, right? Mm-hmm. And there's actually two trains. Mm-hmm. One train of thought is going to take us more into the doing the same thing on repeat mm-hmm. that is actually not bringing us closer to mm-hmm. our destination. Mm-hmm. The other one is more from an abundance energy, which is, you know, mm-hmm. thoughts that are going to take us closer. And right. it's, it's like, you know, it's not right. It's not wrong. There's no right or wrong thought. Mm-hmm. It's just, Is this thought that I'm thinking right now about myself, about my business, about my life, about my purpose, about whatever it is that we're diving into, is that helping me get closer to where it is that I want to go? Mm -hmm. Or is it taking me into the opposite direction of feeling fearful and doubtful and confused and scared and overwhelmed? That's right. That absolutely, absolutely. And it's it's knowing the difference between them because oftentimes if we do not know, and if we do not come outside of that space, we think we're supposed to continue what we're doing. Okay. We didn't get the result, but I continue because that's what I know. And that's what I'm programmed Mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Just keep pushing at it instead of, is there a different way? Is there another Mm -hmm. train of thought? Do I need to explore something different? And that's where, you know, reaching out for help you don't have to do it alone and <laughs> getting, getting coaches or getting individuals that can help you kind of yeah. hold that mirror up to yourself and look at that and say, how, here's how we can think about it. Let's try it a little bit differently. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause we absolutely cannot read the label when we're inside of the bottle. And when we're yeah. here, the yeah. thought that is creating the problem is not the same. <laughs> Same mind that actually has a solution, right? One of my favorite Einstein quotes, you know, and sometimes we just need somebody to be like, yeah, like, is that really true? Like, is there, you know, who, what, what is the person that thinks those thoughts and, and who is the person that thinks those thoughts and what are the results that that person get? I want to hear about your book too. Tell us about your book. I'm so super excited. All right. So my book is entitled Clutch Your Pearls seven gems to create the life you desire. And one of the, um, I think the the impetus for me in terms of creating this piece, but size, you know, I, I, I toyed with the idea of being an author, but it was really about um, helping people think about their passion or their purpose. And really kind of driving into that because I think that's the One of, I won't say the first step, but I would say that that is an important step that drives everything we do, understanding what we're here to do, why we're here, et cetera. And this is what this is. And it's not necessarily, I'll put my feet up and you're going to do work. There are Mm -hmm. questions, there are things, there's journaling in there, Mm -hmm. which was a big thing for me because I didn't always journal, Mm -hmm. but I found that when I was going through certain things, I had to jot down ideas. Mm-hmm. I There's sometimes you just have to write. Yeah, and so yeah. this is about starting that path for you in terms of creating, well, not really creating your passion, but really driving into what is my purpose? Mm-hmm. What makes me happy? What drives me? And I remember once someone that I worked with, I asked them the question, what is it that you enjoy doing that makes you really happy? What makes you feel good? Like what are the, and the person said, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I thought that it was a woman and I thought that that is kind of, you know, that's a shame, you know, yeah. that you don't yeah. know what makes you happy. And I think it's because we don't tap into that piece. Yeah. yeah. Because again, we go back to you're taking care of everyone else. But I thought that this is a way to start that journey. Mm-hmm. Start with what am I here to do? Why am I here to do it? How can I ignite this passion within mm-hmm. me? How do Mm -hmm. I move forward? And that was the impetus of the book. I love that. So what are the seven, seven gems? If you can give us a high (laughs) overview. I'm excited. And and what I did was. Oh, show us your book. Yay. yay. So I shortened the the title just a little bit because I want to put it all in there, but it's um, a matte finish. And the pearl is one of my symbols because the company is the Pearl Pathway of Wellness. Mm-hmm. And my idea for using the pearl, the pearl is my symbol. 
because when the pearl is made, as many people know, the oyster uses, has irritants within its shell and mm -hmm. that's where the pearl is formed. But I thought, you know, we always have irritants in our life. We mm -hmm. always have stresses. It's just, how do we take that and turn it into something beautiful for us? Turn it into mm -hmm. one of our gems. How do we take what's going on to turn those into the gems? Wow, I yeah. love that so much. Yeah. So, Because you always, you always, have you always have it. It, it life is about as as Liz Nicholas used to say life is about contrast yes. and it truly is and it's contrast always but how yeah. do you how do you deal with that daily and take that into making something beautiful mm -hmm. for yourself that's so much Genevieve <laughs> I love that symbol love that symbol <laughs> So, you know, I won't go through all the gems, but one of the first ones is, or one of the first things that we talk about is why are you here? Mm. A lot of it is, that goes back to your purpose. We think we have to go out and discover it. It's already within us. It's part mm. of our human fabric. It's, mm -hmm. it's a part of our essence, who we are. And it just takes time to just quietly start to kind of delve into that, explore what indeed is your purpose. So I mean, that's that first step. Mm -hmm. And I remember a friend of mine read the book and she said to me, she said something you said in the book about when you find your purpose or you connect into your purpose and what you truly want to do and what you're here for, it'll hit you and you'll, you'll almost want to start crying because it's just like, that's it. That's the thing. And she said, it's absolutely true. I mm -hmm. found that place for myself. What what makes me feel like I'm here and how I can support yeah. my community and beyond. So, That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what would be some um, things or, or, you know, maybe a tip on the first, where people could dive in to kind of uncover for those women who don't know, like, mm -hmm. I don't know what, what mm -hmm. my purpose is. Mm -hmm. What are some kind of so Signal. some of the things that I need to start besides, you know, looking to, to purchase my book. Um, <laughs> but one of the things I do say to, to, to people, think about even in the jobs that we do and all the jobs that we've had, there's something in each of those jobs. There's some common denominator of things that we find joy and mm -hmm. the things that we know no matter what, we, we always enjoy doing that. And I'll use myself as an example. Yeah. Yeah. So I worked for, like I mentioned, I worked in corporate America for many years and I always managed people. And so I worked for profit making. But one of the things that I find that I enjoyed the most was the development aspect and the coaching of people. Mm -hmm. And I found I never had enough or I didn't feel like I had enough time to really spend, find out what made people tick, what were the things that were the motivators for them to do what they did, mm -hmm. how do I best support them? And I found those were the things that I enjoyed doing in every role I had. Mm. So, ironically, here I am, I'm a coach. Yes, but it, yes. <laughs> and, yes. But it's oftentimes you start where you are. Mm -hmm. For the job that you have, even today, what is that thing that you truly enjoy mm -hmm. that you don't you feel like you, you don't have enough time to do but you could do that every day, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, you wake up, you could do that no matter what. I love that you have um, the guidance to kind of take a look at not only what it is that you enjoy, mm -hmm. but you can actually see a pattern when you mm -hmm. look back, right? That's like right. I, can, I can see a pattern in my life too. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. to be in community, right? Mm -hmm. Even as a little girl, I was go on marches with my grandmother for the equal rights amendment through the streets of Washington, DC. Mm -hmm. I, you know, when I was raising my babies, I would be the one that would host the mamas over the play dates or the homeschool group. Mm -hmm. You know, I would be the one that would be hosting the dinners or mm -hmm. starting the, the community. And it makes so much sense that today I have yeah. my own community where I get to support women. And so right. this idea of supporting and empowering women has carried through my entire life. And so mm -hmm. it's really cool that, that when right. we can take a look at what, what is it that we love Mm -hmm. And even if we don't think we can make money at it, mm -hmm. what is it that we love? Okay. Right. And then mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, I could mm -hmm. actually do this or exactly. that's pointing us in the direction, right? Exactly. To explore exactly. information. I, I totally agree. And it's interesting you say that about what you did as a child, because while I may start with the jobs that you do or the jobs that you've held, 
there are patterns from when we were children, mm-hmm. you know, um, always, I was the person that people would ask, what's your opinion on this? What's your mm-hmm. advice? And I remember, and I also ask people, what is something you just, you just don't like to see? And yeah. I never like to see anyone being bullied. Mm. And I find that I bring that into my coaching and that's yeah. part of empowering women. Yeah. How do you stand up for yourself? Yes. How do you create space for yourself and, and be unapologetic about it? But I we do have those patterns that from, from way back that we do. And it's just taking the time to look back at that. Yeah. And you said something interesting and I agree with you wholeheartedly. We talked, you talked about your passion mm-hmm. and doing something you're passionate about and getting paid for. And you don't care whether you have, mm-hmm. you get paid for it or not. Probably not verbatim, but you know, that's the gist of what you said. Yeah. But, and I agree. Here's, I would also offer that if you're passionate about something and it's something that you really feel that this is where I should, this is where I'm destined to be. This is my gift. You will, ha- you will get abundance. Yes, you will be paid for absolutely. It. It will come yes. Because your, your parameter changes. It's, yes. it's not like how it was when maybe you were in your eight to five job. It, it may be different, but you will feel like I am the most abundant person in the world because yeah. I have all this yeah. that I enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, for sure. 100%. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I think sometimes when we, we don't necessarily see right. joy as uh-huh. the vehicle for mm-hmm. financial wealth or abundance, right. right? And I love that you're actually bringing those two mm-hmm. things together. No, mm-hmm. we actually get to follow our joy. And when we That's do right. that, Mm-hmm. It does lead to financial abundance because mm-hmm. we get to, it, it's more fun and it opens up right. all of the great opportunities for us mm-hmm. to, to have yeah. more of, of what it is that we desire. Yeah. That's so and cool. You're, you're taking the action. You're, you're not sitting back and waiting. It's happening for you, but because you're stepping into that space, that mm-hmm. inspired space, mm-hmm. that emotional space, that yeah. joyful space, you, you're, it just you, you're mm-hmm. continuing to move that way. And I tell you, it comes from places you just don't expect. The people come to you that you need to get to. It's just, it's just a wonderful opening of the world. Yeah. And I'd say to people during this path, there were so many angels that came along my way that yeah. I had, of course, you of one of them, but so many angels. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I just, I feel so blessed. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that, um, you know, the, the doors to possibility and opportunity open when we are in that zone of joy and gratitude and abundance. And we just never know how it comes in, but it always comes in, which is so cool. It does. It does. And where you least expect it. (laughs) Oh, true. Oh my gosh. So how can we, how can our listeners, uh, first of all, get the book Mm -hmm. and get in touch with you? Okay. Where so the book is on Amazon um, okay. and under my name. Uh, and I will certainly make sure you have the full title. Um, so you can get the book that way. If you're in the New Jersey area, um, I also have books. So you can contact me and I will get you a book. Um, I actually have an event that's happening um, December 27th. It's going to be online and it's called Creating Your Audacious Life. Um, and, um, for, yeah, so we'll, we'll go through some of these things. It'll be a three day event. Um, I will hold it in my Facebook group. Um, Chris, I'll send you the link Uh, and we will kick this year. We'll, we'll, we'll say a bit of gratitude for this year and, and the blessings that we experienced this year. We take, we accept all good, bad, and different because we, we learned from it, but then we're going to get ourselves set for 2024 in a powerful way. So Amazing. that's one thing we will kick off and I'll probably have some local events coming up soon, but certainly yeah. as you get in contact with me, I certainly will. Yeah. Share what we have so what do. we'll do is we'll put it. So go ahead. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and take a look down in the description. We will make sure that we've got Genevieve's Facebook group, mm-hmm. um, her email link, her website link, the Amazon link. So you can check her book out and definitely the event link. That sounds yeah. like amazing. Yeah. Cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciated that. Oh, yeah. This absolutely. has been so great. It's so wonderful to see you and chat with you. 
Oh, it's so good to see you too. It's so great to see you succeeding and to just sharing your passion and your vision to empower more women. We need more women working together, connecting, yes. collaborating, lifting yes. each other up, sharing this information. This is one of the yes. reasons why I really wanted you here is we need more women talking about this. We need more yes. women standing up for each other. We need more women giving each other and lifting up and giving each other a hand That's because right. we're all here. Everything that we do matters and mm -hmm. we're all here to support each other. And I'm just so grateful that you're you're in my world, Genevieve. Thank, Thank you. So much. Thank you, Chris. This is such a blessing. And I wholeheartedly agree with you. I, I The support I've received, the nurturing I received, the community, unmatched, unmatched. Mm -hmm. We cannot, and I'll say we cannot do it alone. Mm -hmm. It no. has to be in community. Absolutely. We, we thrive better in community. Absolutely. 1000%. I'm so with you. If I lived closer to New Jersey, I would be there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, we can work something out because we can start moving around. North Carolina is not that far. <laughs> I know. We're going to have to bring you down to North Carolina and do an event down here. Yeah, I definitely yeah. am. And I, I tell you, and next year I, I'm in uh, talks with a friend of mine. We're going to do something in Florida. So Ooh. why not? Yeah. With Sherry? Hmm? No, Sherry, no, no friend of mine, but actually Sherry and I had talked about it. Um, but I will definitely keep you posted. Yeah. I am I am open to Yay. I love live events I do Ooh. So I will be open so we <laughs> cool. awesome well Genevieve thank you for being here everybody thank you for listening be sure to check the links reach out to Genevieve she's amazing she will absolutely respond you know back to you and go get her book I'm gonna get the book it sounds so so good and we will see you back here next time thank you Chris Thank yeah. you, everyone. Goodbye.